this section, we're going to go through some basic scientific notation and how to do it. First of all, the reason why we use scientific notation is uh, it's a way to simplify and describe very large or very small numbers. And also helps us with significant figures, which is really another lesson. Here are some numbers that we would want to potentially turn into scientific notation. So I'm going to walk you through the process of getting these from 1 to the scientific notation of what you see here. So that's going to be the end result, but let's go ahead and take a look at these individually. First of all, for that first one right here, so I'm going to go do the work over here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to see that first digit and you want to write that first digit down and then a decimal place and then everything else that's not a zero after that. So that's the first step. Have one one decimal, one place to the, to the left of the decimal. And here it's 5, 5.49. And then I'm going to write at times 10. And then I have to figure out, okay, what exponent? So am I going to make it bigger or smaller by how many zeros? That's pretty much what we're trying to decide right now. And so what you want to do is you want to look at this number, once again, the scientific notation number that's going to have the times 10, and you want to compare it. You want to say, if I'm going to make this 5.49, what do I have to do? Do I have to make it bigger or smaller to get to 549,000? And in order to take this and make it 549,000, so to make the 5.49, um, 549,000, I'm going to have to make it bigger by, and we have to figure out how many decimal places. So 549,000 would really have a decimal place there. And if we count one, whoop, there we go, one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, we get that decimal to where it's supposed to be located, and that's five spots or five zeros bigger. So the answer here, 549,000 would end up being 5.49 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so that's that's to get a scientific notation of a bigger number to make it to make scientific notation from that. Now to get scientific notation from a smaller number like 0 0.0000612, you're going to kind of do the same thing. You're going to follow it all the way from left to right until you get to the first decimal or for the first uh, number, and here we find 6. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to write 6.12. We'll put the decimal after after the first number we see. And now we're going to determine, okay, 6.12, we're going to have to change it by zeros. So we're going to be making it go left or right by zeros, and we have to figure out how many. But before we do that, we need to determine, if I'm going to turn 6.12 into this number, am I going to have to make 6.12 bigger or smaller? So what I'm saying is 0 .00000612, is that bigger or smaller than 612? And the answer is, it is smaller. And since it is smaller, then the exponent is going to be to a negative power. So, so times 10 to the negative power. To determine how many, we're going to take this decimal place, and we're going to take it 1, 2, 3, four, five, and take it to its home. And right here, it's its home, 6.12. We want 6.12. So we're going to take it in negative five places. So you're going to drop, you're going to take it, you're going to take it five decimal places. So 6.12 times 10 to the negative fifth is the same as 0 0.0000612. And so let's just continue with that. And you already kind of got that down. You should have um, the worksheet you'll find at holdenclass.com where you can kind of follow through this and, and go through on your own. But I'm going to go ahead and just keep on doing this. That 5.5680 is going to be 5.68. And then this 5.68 has to get bigger by one to three decimal places. So 10 to the third positive because it's bigger. This number right here would be 3.56 times 10. And 3.56 has to get smaller, so this is going to be a negative by one, two, three decimal places. So that would be 3.56 times 10 to the negative third. And now, um, going the opposite way around, this is scientific notation right here, and we need to make this go away. We want to find an actual number that this would become. And so all we're going to do is this is telling you that you're going to make it bigger by eight decimal places. So we're going to take this and we're going to move it down eight decimal places total. So this end would end up being three 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's your decimal place. And then just to make sure, let's go ahead and just reverse it. If I made it smaller by 10, or sorry, smaller by eight, would it end up being the number that I came from? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that decimal place would end there, which is perfect. So this is, this is the same as saying three times 10 to the eighth, this number that I just wrote down, 300 million. Okay, and then same thing here. I could write down the nine, and I'm gonna take that decimal place, nine places, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that would be the same number right there. And then I could also double check if I walk backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just to make sure I didn't make a mistake, and it is nine spots away. And so nine times 10 to the ninth would be this number I have right here. Okay, now when you're going into the negatives, this is kind of a little bit awkward. Um, it is really the same thing, and you can always check your work to make sure. But if I take this number, I'm going to want zeros in front of it. So I want there to be 11 spaces by the time I get to this decimal place. And to do that, you actually put down 10 instead of 11 because the 6 is going to take the last spot. So this would be the same as saying... Whoop, one, two, ignore that first zero, whatever happened there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, six, seven, and then once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, leaving you right there, and that's correct. And so this is this is gonna be that number. Then lastly, this last one was one of the easier ones. It would end up being three, three, one. That decimal place just moved two spots over. So 3.31 times 10 to the second would be the same as 331.